ஹலோ மக்களே வெல்கம் டு டே ஃபோர் ஆஃப் தி பாத் டு எக்ஸ்பர்ட் வீடியோ சீரீஸ் ஃபார் பீப்புள் ஹூ ஆர் நியூ டோன்ட் ஃபர்கெட் டு ஃபாலோ அவர் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு மீ அண்ட் ஆல்சோ செக் மை ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் இன் திஸ் சீரீஸ் இன் த லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி சா அபவுட் ஹவு கூகுள் சர்ச் ஒர்க்ஸ் டுடே வில் பி சீயிங் அபவுட் ஒன் மோர் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் டாபிக்ஸ் தட் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் சைட் மேப்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் அ சைட் மேப் இட் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் அ மேப் ஃபார் அ வெப்சைட் வி யூஸ் மேப் டு நேவ் நேவிகேட் அமாங் ஸ்ட்ரீட்ஸ் and same way google use site maps to navigate among your site and crawl all the pages this way we can make sure google doesn't miss out anything while it crawls our website so does that mean every website needs a site map not at all google is so clever it can actually crawl through all the pages it by itself but when the website is very large say you have like 5000 pages in your web web application then there is a small chances that google may miss out few pages from crawling also if you have a lot of videos or images again it is a safer bet to have a site map it's not mandatory but when you have a site map google can crawl over all your videos and images and index them properly so it can accommodate any search and give your web page as the result so how do we create a site map site map is nothing but a simple xml file with the list of all the urls you want google to crawl over and we will upload the xml file to the search console that is google search console once it's uploaded google does its job a typical site map looks something like this here i have only one url but a production site map will have hundreds or thousands of urls but again everything has to be maintainable right imagine a single xml file having 5000 lines of code it will be a nightmare to maintain it and keep it updated that is why there is a way to split larger sitemap files into multiple sitemaps say i don't have a very large website and i don't need a sitemap for that case but say i have a lot of images and uh, videos instead of listing the urls of all my videos and images in one single file what i can do is i can split them into multiple file and create something called sitemap index a sitemap index looks something like this it's just again an xml file but instead of pointing to the urls it points to other sitemap files and if you see my sitemap image it contains details about the images i use and sitemap video has all the details about the videos i use like you can add a lot of details like title description and all this information will be crawled by google and will be used during a search this increases the searchability of your website but while creating sitemap there are few things you should have in your mind number 1 always try to give an absolute url using relative urls may end up in some errors number 2 like i said yesterday google can crawl only as an anonymous user so all the urls should be available publicly to verify it place the url in a incognito mode and check if it's working before you enter into a sitemap these are the two major things you should uh, have your eye for of course there are lot of other errors possible as well like invalid attribute values or even if you give a wrong size for your thumbnails it will result in an error but the major two things you should keep in your mind are about the uh, structure of the url that is the absolute url as well as the url being accessible by an anonymous user so if your site is heavily dependent on images or videos or if it's too large may create a proper site map create a maintainable site map and improve your searchability that's it for today have a great day makale see you tomorrow